Hello, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. I got a steal here ready. I'm sorry if you hear the clacking. And I need to get a microphone on. You cannot hear me. Just stay tuned. I have to work fast today because I got a meeting in 30 minutes. So it's very close. It's downstairs. So let me get this microphone on. Mike sounds nice. Check one. Mike sounds nice. Check two. Y'all, 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 y'all. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going live. Let me see. So Facebook is still going live, so give me one moment. I still got to put up Instagram. YouTube is live. YouTube is live. Y'all, today I got like those little, what are they? Like little material balls on the, on the back of my bra. It's like, nope. It's just going to have to stay there. It's just got so today. This show is gonna be on Black Unicorns on Instagram as well. So let me say, let me say, let me say, let me say. Oh, I forgot to get my makeup. Still ready to face today. Okay, and it's gonna be a quick show. I think maybe under seven minutes. I'm hoping it's under seven. I'm praying that this is under seven minutes because I got to get my makeup. I forgot to put it over. Um, okay, so today is all about growing from good conflict. And the reason why is because I did a post just earlier about this couple that was like, and they were having, um, and this girl put him in the car. Like, so she put it, okay, it's a couple. And... Her boyfriend is sleeping in the car. And so she's like, he's sleeping his way to an early grave or something like that. So what happens is, is he's texting somebody on, online. She doesn't give us details about how he's how he's texting or whatever, what's going on. So they're texting and she was on his phone. So she looks on his phone, sees the text. And now she puts him in the car so he can go ahead and go to the other girl's place out of town. It's like, for real? Like, you about to waste this time, and you could just be talking. So, one of my best breakups is between this guy named Frank. I'm talking about y'all for real. I have good breakups. Like, for real, we always remain friends. Whether we slept together or not, sex doesn't even change it or anything. So, I had a good friend named Franklin, and we were together, and everybody was trying to break us up. And it's like, one day I was like, I'm just, like, really bashing you. You know, I'm like, I am bashing you like every day and I was pregnant. I'm like, I don't want to fuss at you anymore. I don't want to argue with you because every time they would just like put something in your ear. Like, and sometimes you can't get it out of your head. Like, it's like they would just be like, um, he was with these different women. He was doing this. He was doing it. And it's like, I would be fussing at him. He go out. Sometimes I'll be right there at his door waiting on him, thinking that he not coming back. I'm talking about in my head, I'm thinking he is not coming back. And then when I finally got a chance to think about it and look at what was going on and question the person, I was like, this is Marla. Marla just do, she just everything, she just always like, <laughs> she just like coming at you. Then she'll put other people up to coming at you too. That's why a lot of this stuff I'm thinking, this Marla, this, this, this Marla, somebody trying to be her because she got sisters too, they all crazy. So anyway, um, I was just like, you know what, let's just break up right now because... Yeah, did this look like a nap or do it look like an evening? It won't stay up. So I was like, what do I do with it? I like, I put the wax on her and everything. And it's just, when I stay. okay, so anyway, so Marla is crazy. You see what I'm saying? And her sisters, they all light skinned. So if they get in the right area, somebody gonna really care about them. In Texas, they be like, fuck yo. 
ugly ass though. The only people that come for them is men that care about how they look. And they be like dirty and insecure. I'm not joking. Like it's just like, you just dirty. So, and y'all know what? Insecure actually came from my cousin. She used to say that, y'all, she said, don't stop making me feel dirty and insecure. My cousin Candy, Candy and Brandy, they try to kill her too. So listen, they in her house shooting at her. How you gonna be in her house shooting at her? So anyway, um, when he said something to me, I mean, when we talked about it, it was like, yeah, it's time for us to break up. Me and him are still good friends. I'm talking about every breakup, y'all. It's just like, that's how it is. Oh my God, I'm too much for you. Sometimes we don't break up, we just lose contact. But for the most part, if it's a breakup, it's like, because we talk about it and because we're friends. Like, it's like, I am a friend for real. Like, I, I mean, they be really like, Look at this girl ass. I'd be like, boy, if you don't stop this car, this girl ass. You know, it don't mean that he finna go out there and fuck her. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't nobody did that to say I met you. And then it's like because he's influenced by Brandon. You see what I'm saying? Because he don't understand friendship. He don't understand good people. He don't understand that. So it's like y'all in a situation where you listen to somebody tell you something stupid. Same thing when I was out with Cecil. He would be like, so you want me to talk to other women? I'm not telling you to talk to other women. I'm telling you that if you like this relationship, you will be with me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ever just, I ain't never had to explain that to anybody but them. If you like this relationship, you'll just chill. That's it. If you don't like it, you will actually go on the phone and start taking other women. That's how it works. If I like this relationship, this is what I would do. If I don't like this relationship, I'm going to see other people. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, I'm not trying to connect with you on that level if I don't like this relationship. It's not going to be something I'm going to always go after. So it's like, people will take that as if, I guess somebody wrote down like I was open to a relationship. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm a monogamous person. I prefer for the other person to be monogamous too. But like I'm saying, if you want to go see other people and stuff, then we're not having sex. And we're not, you know, I'm just going to play. And see, I'm about to play with you like you're trying to play with me. So it's, if that is what I'm telling you, and to put it in plain terms, I'm a monogamous person, I stick with one person. And for the most part, if you are just being a friend to me or whatever, you can date other people, we're not together. And so that is it. Like it's like with my man, the one that commits to me, we just say, I'm committed to you. Like a Hispanic guy, he stopped me, he's like, I had a guy over for you, yeah, I had a guy. And I guess somebody told him. He came over there. He was like, nope. Come with me and stay in my house. He was like, because from this day forward, you are never going to ask another man for nothing. I'm the one they're going to give it to you. And that was it. That was it. He moved me out of the apartment and moved me into his house. You see what I'm saying? Because at that point, he was like, nope, that's it. I can't take that. You're going to be my woman. That's it. And so that's just how it is. It's like most men just say, nope, it's just me and you. I don't want to see nobody. So, why would I have to be with a man that's not telling me anything and then give him all of it, just stay with him forever, not see the other people, don't flirt, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. When, the next, when a, a good man can be better than that. Hey, you full of shit. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's bullshit. So, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you got to communicate. And I'm a really open person. You know, I know everybody's not, but you got to communicate. Because if you don't, you, how do you ever become a good if you're not friends, how do you become them? That's why it's good to see these partners on um, Instagram. Like, they do that stuff together. They are doing it together. They smiling together. They making jokes together. They doing all. It's like they have a perfect bond. Because if it doesn't work out, they got to talk about it. You see what I'm saying? If that video, uh, why did the video not upload? Is the internet working right? Do we need new internet? Like, can you research the internet? Well, like, he might know more about the Wi Fi than she does. Maybe they need to get a route on or whatever. You know, it's like it's so much more that they can talk about. So much more to learn from each other. Maybe he's in school. Maybe he's learning. Maybe she is in school. She learning. All together, it's like that's conflict. And it doesn't mean that we got to scream and shout at each other. So the other part of this is when I was talking to Chris about Rima, when she was sitting across from him, and he really thought that I was going to like, start going off on him or whatever. I did. At, at first, I did start hollering. Because it was frustrating because it's like, don't you see that this bitch is like trying to fuck you or something? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't you see that? Don't you see that she's trying to get in your face? 
And it was like he just kept acting stupid like he didn't know. And so it's like, I'm about to sit at a table and play games with you and these fucking people. Like, they're crazy. So I'm, t- I'm constantly telling him they're crazy. And he constantly looking like, there's nothing wrong with them. It is. Like, this bitch is over here acting like you and her boyfriend is acting like me. Like, what kind of shit is that? We can't act like I felt because they gonna sit here and act like us? This shit makes no fucking sense. So I wanna beat both of their ass because he's lying about being from East St. Louis, all this different stuff. Chris lying about it too. And Rena just sitting there looking crazy at me. So I'm just like, okay, so finally we get to the point where he said, okay, sit down next to me. And this was Thanksgiving, I think. Thanksgiving? Yeah, Thanksgiving. He's like, sit here next to me and something. It was it was either a holiday or my day off. I don't know. So I sit next to him and the girl is Serena is still sitting there. So I'm like, okay, so why don't you tell her to leave? Like, if you want me to sit at this table with you, tell them to leave because this is the problem. They are evil and I cannot sit with evil people. I'll be the beat the shit out of them. I can't even see her face no more. Her and boy, I can't see their face. And so it's like I actually had, when I actually said it, the other women were like, yeah, she right. You need to get that bitch out your face. That's when he finally saw that he was wrong. And it's like, okay, it took you all that to see you were wrong. So he's still waiting for me to get loud with him. And it's like, why would I get loud with you when the bitch came in here with the intentions of doing what she was doing? So I'm still fussing with her. And he's steady telling me to be quiet. Tell that bitch to get up from the fucking table. And that's what all the women were saying too. You don't need to tell her anything. You need to tell this bitch to get up from the table. And so I'm like, well, if she was black, you would have told her. You see what I'm saying? He would have been saying something if she was black, but because she's Japanese, I said that bitch will still get on her knees and suck that dick like anybody else. So that's when I realized, like, you don't understand me. Like, you don't understand that this shit would get me killed. You don't understand. Because they have, they think they know something about me. You here to try to hurt me. You not hurting him. He don't care. I care. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with this man guy when I told him the women were following us. That's who broke us up. You see what I'm saying? So they following us and it's like, I'm done. I can't do that shit no more. I'm not about to have no bitch in here trying to run my house. That's the same thing they would have did if I would have married Beyonce. They would have felt like they could be in my house and in my business. And because I'm a private person, they would have never gotten a fucking house. I understand what I'm talking about. It's like, it's just some shit I'm not about to do. This shit is dangerous. It's like actually putting somebody in a dangerous situation. For what? I don't know. But I was like, I would look, look at my face. It's like me. I look horrible. I just felt the feeling. So anyway, look. So I'm like, this is something that we cannot do. So I cannot, from that conflict, what I find out is that this is not something I need to do. So it's like everybody not going to understand because he really wanted me to get loud with him. He wanted me to argue with him. It's like, dude, I don't do that. In a relationship, that's your partner. You're on my side. That's how I get to the relationship. Like, you're on my side. I don't care what happened. Me and you on each other's side. We got to be. I can't have no relationship where you on the opposite side. We get here arguing and you ain't never on my side. Even when we disagree, you still got to be on my side. You understand know what I'm saying? It's like, I keep it word. This is, we ain't never enemies. So some people want to go at you like you and him were enemies. And it's like, uh-uh. That's not my type of relationship. That's not my cup of tea. So that is what it is. It's like, so when you have a good conflict, you grow intimacy. And the way to have it is by thinking, I am always on your side. Baby, I'm always trying to see you. Baby, I'm always trying to make sure you say Because that's the reason for disagreeing. So, you might want honey, but he might want sugar. He got diabetes. Uh-uh, you're going to have this. It's a disagreement. But the reason why it's a disagreement is because I'm on your side. So, it's like that grows conflict. I mean, that grows into it. Because now I see you want me to be here in your face and longer than what I fucking need. You see, so it's like that's the stuff that we have to start looking at. Like everything, I don't ever want to argue with my man in public because this is something I'm going to If you disrespect your man or your woman in public, the people in public will disrespect your man and your woman. 
And so it's like I would rather have hard arguments by ourselves. And if we saw a little spat and we just put that somewhere. But um, the hard arguments, I just try to have by myself. So again, Facebook just stopped. As soon as it gets, as soon as it gets good, it stopped. They be trying to get in on my conversation, though. Fuck these bitches. Um. So yeah, that's what it is. It's like that's all. So that's it. I still haven't got to the part where I, what I gotta do. So anyway, because I'm doing a long show, I'm trying to explain what's going on. <sighs> I'm still streaming on YouTube, Instagram, and I still got the podcast. Just gonna go back in and do another one. I get tired of that too. I stop missing my stuff. And then I'm gonna go back in and do that shit and all this stuff. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish this topic. I'm gonna start on the book. a mental health person. So, that's it. So, from the conflict, it's like, uh, that's what you for you. You fear losing connection, intimacy, and trust. And the only reason you would fear that is because the person is abusive. Now, if you ever been in an abusive relationship, you know. Because what they'll do is first off the connection. I don't, I don't want to talk about that right now. It is nothing to talk about. It's like, that's, we not talking about nothing. It's like, that's what happened, so that's what it is. It's time to go, because we not this stupid. Women are not that stupid. And the only reason they will be that stupid is if you were abused. Men are not that stupid. The only reason they will be stupid is if you were being abused. There is no reason for you not to talk to a person about what's going on in your relationship. Um, losing intimacy. Oh, I ain't giving you no pussy no more. Because, you know, because you said this to this girl. Because you said how this girl was. I'm not sleeping with you no more. I'm not holding you. You know, now I can't touch you. Because that's punishing you. And that's the only reason that would happen is because the person is abusive. This is an unhealthy relationship. Even if you were friends, people realize that, hey, you need to be hugged and held and everything else. That is abusive. Um, trust. Oh, you was looking. What you mean you heard me on the phone? You was listening through the door? Well, first off, why would you have a door closed if we living together? Why would you have any of these things for me to find? Why would you have to hide anything? Because once you start living together, honey, this is an open book. When you start living together, that's when you really have to be open. That's why people say don't live together. Because until you're ready for that, you it's not something that's, that's feasible. You see what I'm talking about? If you have secrets and you got to hide stuff and all this stuff, you don't need to live with anybody until you're ready to really be open with them about who you are. And so that's the other thing. Why would you lose trust? So it's no reason for that. If you can't talk to the person for real, you probably need to leave. It's probably it's probably an abusive situation. I don't care how many times you need to talk about it, I don't care how many days. You it's probably an abusive situation. A healthy person will actually just go ahead and end it because you gotta nip it in the bed. And then you don't have to talk about it anymore. That's it. That's a healthy situation. You understand? So that, that's it. Good good conflict is a long scheme. And you can improve your conflict skills like anything you want to do. You do. So it's a learned skill. Um, who 
was I thinking about? It was something I said the other day with the girl, and she was like, oh, God. And he just was like, yeah, I just want to spend time with you. So I just text him. And it's like, that is a learning skill. That's why it was scary for me, because if she didn't have that skill in her pocket, then it's not going to work. But then it's the upside. He's teaching her something, and now, in the next relationship or next relationship, it just gets better. Because now she sees, oh my God, everybody isn't like that. Every man is not like that. And so when you see that, that is something that I can make. Like, okay, I don't have to be like that either if I don't want to. You see, maybe I don't have to keep secrets. Maybe I can share with you. But it's so many sociopaths. The sociopaths, they are. They, they charm and they claim everything. They will try to get in every part of your business. And it's like, even if you are a good person, they'll just find anything you do to be negative. They'll teach other people that what you do is negative. So you got to be careful with social class, too. Avoid a conflict. To keep the peace prevents us from being fully present and makes us go in our relationship. That's true. I mean, for real, I remember one time I felt like avoiding a conflict. And I had to really think about it. I was like, what am I doing? And I went through it. I did it on the show. And I finally said something about it. And it was like, oh, okay. It, I made it in my head. It's like this huge thing. And for real, when I got a chance to talk about it with the person, it was so small. He was like, okay, that's cool. Like, really? Are you serious? I'm in the same situation as this girl. And it's like, oh, okay. But that was my first time ever doing it. So I actually just went through my feelings and then it was like, oh, I was touching your knee. You know, so that's the other thing. It's like, okay, it's because you don't know the person. So now you're using somebody else's experience in this relationship. And it's like, that's not something. That's not so beautiful. All the time, of what in conflict create, creates in us loneliness, bitterness, anger, and contempt. And it's true because, like I said, I was building this big old ball, whatever in my head. I was mad. I was scared. I was, it was everything. And it's like, well, once I said something, it was like, just talk about it. And part is it creates confusion, isolation, frustration, disengagement. Disengagement meaning I will talk to somebody else. I would actually reach out to somebody else. And y'all, in life, as you get older, get married, get long life partners, it is better for them to have uh, friends in both sexes. It is not for you to tell them who they can and cannot talk to. It is not your business because you don't know what they're getting from that other person and what they're coming back to you. Even if it is another male or another female, there's no reason to be jealous because I'm telling you, when they tell you it's for real what they do with that person, you are going to beat yourself up. I'm not playing. If they not letting them go, and they ain't really had no intimacy or anything like that, you need to know that they got to try. They trying to hold on to them for a real time. So you don't know what that other person is doing. Good conflict is how to or more people exist in a relationship and separate conflicts. And that's something that Jada Pinkett and Will Smith are like, we both exist separately. So then, therefore, she gives me a feel of her, and he gives me a feel of him. It is the truth. If a man cannot, if it's like, oh, God, you left me for five minutes, and I was just, instead of him just saying, baby, I want to spend today with you, that's it. That's all he got to say. I don't need him whipping and whining and all this bullshit. Like, some need anything. So it's not, but some people will do that. And it's like, no, that's too much for me. If you can't be a man about it, baby, you don't need to be. Yeah, I don't need no key. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, that's something else. It's like, I exist separately. And if you want to exist with me, that's fine. You don't have to make excuses. You don't have to whine about me. I'm here for it. So that's it. That's how good conflict works. And that is it. That is why you don't need to ever put your man in the car and drive him anywhere to another room. By all means, you need to go to the city, find a friend, and eat some fucking ice cream or something. Ain't no motherfucking way. Because if it was me that was on the other end and he was texting, and I know we ain't got nothing going on, he was coming straight to get your ass in. And I don't want to So next time, watch who the fuck you fucking with. You understand what I'm saying? And he looked like he a good guy too. Watch who you fucking with. Because somebody will end up in the way. You didn't put the men in a dangerous situation and yourself in a dangerous situation. It could have been his fucking friends. Y'all don't ever fucking know. But y'all forever in somebody's fucking friend. If ain't nobody put no ring on your motherfucking friend. 
Do a bitch by all means. Don't ever pick up his phone and go through his shit. And nigga don't ever pick up her phone and go through her shit. Cause ain't nobody guaranteed to be with somebody else. The only thing that's gonna make y'all more than that is being married. Even if you live together, you still not your fucking ass. You create an unhealthy situation. So I hope whenever she gets there, that bitch gets slapped straight from us. Anyway, that's it, Shantae. Black Unicorn. Brown Sugar Talk on Black Unicorn. Tell me you. If you are my friend, I love you. And thank you. And if you're my enemy, cheers.